But I want to talk about Florida. Mm -hmm. For the last 25 years, okay. the candidate that's won Florida has won the election. And Joe Biden, if he doesn't win Florida, is not going to have a very good shot at the White House. And right now, it looks like a bloodbath for Biden in Florida. And that's because the Republicans have wiped out this big early lead with early voters among Democrats. So they chipped away from about 800,000. Now they have about down to 190,000. So Joe Biden is going to go into Election Day with a smaller lead than Andrew Gillum had on DeSantis. And that's not good. Remember, about half of the Biden voters are already going to have voted on Election Day, while a third of Trump voters will only have voted early. So they're not building up enough of a lead in Florida and many of these battlegrounds to overcome this big Republican turnout on Election Day. And you know, Dana, Republicans who support Donald Trump will crawl over glass to vote for the president. I looked at a poll today out of Monmouth, kind of a sneaky poll. But even with that said, the president is winning with seniors in the Monmouth poll. He's winning 25 percent of black voters, a third of Hispanics in Florida. He's up 30 points among whites without a college degree. And he's beating Biden double digits on handling the economy. So I think the president is in very good shape in Florida right now.